Hey, what's up guys? Uh, welcome back to part 2 of my unboxing of my iPhone 3GS. Um, as you can see, it's out of its box now. Um, what have I done to it? I'll tell you now. I purchased myself an invisible shield by Zyg. This is the full body uh, kit with uh, the front shield and the back. This is compatible with the 3G and 3GS. This actually retails for about £16. Um, I managed to get it for £12 from Micron Vcar. Kindly enough with discounts. This is a little bit different from the last invisible shield I used, and I'll show you why. Everything here is the same, you know. Um, this is alright, I've already applied it, so uh, don't worry about it. But it comes in like that. Um, the back end as well. The back end was a hell to put on. Took about an hour and about an hour and 20 minutes. This took about literally 15 minutes flat. It was so easy. But the back was, was yeah, it was hard. So it all does depend on patience guys so don't rush into it just take your time and uh, you need excellent lighting as well if you do it in the dark you won't actually get it perfect but um, you need excellent light definitely right what else comes in the packaging um, it comes with uh, you know instruction manuals and what to, to do it comes with uh, an installation card which is the squeegee uh, I didn't like it to be honest Scared, I was scared that it would like you know when you're pushing out the air bubbles it was gonna scratch because it's quite you know sharp as you can see there see and um, so I didn't really yeah I didn't use it so I used the old squeegee that I used uh, on my previous uh, iPhone when I had excellent soft so I can trust it to push out the air bubbles see easy the spray right this what this is what um, confused me. I, I looked at it. I thought, what the fuck? Like, what's this? Um, it's basically the solution. It comes in a, like a little container like this. It's filled up with solution, and it and basically the sponge is all damp. So you just wet your fingers, apply it wherever. And you guys are probably wondering what happens if the solution runs out. At the bottom of the uh, packaging, it says sponge container may be refilled with tap water up to three times during installation. So it's fine, just go um, fill it up to the top, put the sponge back in, let it all damp up and you know, soak it all in. And then it should be fine, then just put it back on top again and then use a squeegee to uh, clear out the air levels. So that's it, um, yeah overall it took me about about just under two hours. So guys be patient, um, I guarantee you all, everything will be fine. I'll show you, there, there isn't any air bubbles, no whatsoever. But you know, you still get this kind of like orange uh, skin peel, like yeah, it's like an effect. You won't be able to see on there, but it's there. See, everything's all aligned. There's no air bubbles whatsoever. I mean, it was a pain in the ass because the sides kept overlapping uh, onto the screen, and it, that's what took so long. But it's now even both sides, which I'm um, well glad about. Achieved something today. Awesome. So now I need to leave it for another 12 to 24 hours to uh, to dry and obviously to get rid of the rest of the air bubbles. Next we'll be um, putting this on which is basically the case from uh, for by Griffin uh, from Carphone Warehouse. Purchased for about £20. Uh, let me show you what the case looks like. In there. All right. Anyways, it's it comes plain. Nothing comes with it. Uh, let me see what we got here. So it says slim fit case inside. What does it say? It just tells you how to install it it's in three steps. And this is what it looks like. It's a basically see-through backing case um, with kind of like a rubbery texture feel on the sides. The volume button, top button, the rocker switch hole. So yeah, it's, it's all the the ports and the holes are accessible. So it's all right. I mean, at the back of the, it looks really quite cool. Let me try and see. So yeah, so that looks really good there. I don't want to actually put it on because it's not dried yet. So I'll wait till tomorrow, and then I'll put it on. Um, I also seen like a guy that had this case as well. What he did was he. Um, Cut, like, he cut out a picture 
and then he actually placed onto the back of the uh, the case and I actually thought it was a part of the case you know you could choose your design but no he didn't he actually mounted a picture on the back of the case and stuck at the back of it which looked really really cool so yeah this is a case from Griffin um, still waiting on my fabrics case and I'm planning to get the in case slider too and hopefully do a couple of videos and what I think uh, of the of the cases and you know the advantages and disadvantages of the case as well so um, yeah, that's about it really guys, um, next video will probably be switching on my uh, iPhone which I haven't switched on yet, so I'll be messing about a few applications and um, obviously the case as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, stay tuned and subscribe, thanks.